Having a culture that is established on the foundations of multiculturalism, with people accepting, respecting and constantly interacting with those from other races and cultures, is a unique and precious feature of the Singaporean Chinese identity, said Senior Minister Li Xinlong on June 12. Speaking in Mandarin at a dinner organized by the Singapore Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry SCCCI and Singapore Federation of Chinese Clan Associations SFCCA. SM Lee noted that despite having a Chinese majority, Singapore did not choose to build its national culture completely around the Chinese culture. Instead, it is the only country with a Chinese majority population that nevertheless maintains a multicultural. Multi-religious society, where everyone is equal, he said. The dinner was organized as a tribute to S.M. Lee following his stepping down as Prime Minister. It was held at the Suntec Singapore Convention and Exhibition Center and attended by one. For hundred guests, including Chinese community leaders, cabinet ministers and members of parliament. In his speech, S.M. Lee stressed that, in Singapore, all citizens should put the republic and its interests first. While the Singapore Chinese share their ethnic roots with other Chinese around the world, and some Chinese feel that we are all descendants of the dragon, it is important that we remember we are first and foremost Singaporeans. Singapore's Chinese community organizations play an important role in the social integration of the many new immigrants who arrive each year and contribute to Singapore's economy and enrich its Chinese culture. He added. Business chambers and clan associations have also found ways to help new immigrants embrace Singapore's way of life and make friends from all races and communities, he said. Over time, these new immigrants will also develop the unique Singaporean Chinese identity and grow their sense of belonging to Singapore, he said adding that this is critical to the country's social cohesion. S.M. Lee highlighted a recent article by a Straits Times journalist formerly based in Beijing. Mr. Danson Chong had shared his experience of being frequently questioned by locals on his identity. He was told that, since he was Chinese, he should understand and support China's position. However, he pointed out that he felt a stronger affinity towards people who shared the same experiences growing up, and stated his firm belief that he is Singaporean and this is his country. Agreeing with these views, S.M. Lee said, as Singaporeans, we have our own interests to protect and our own positions to uphold. S.M. Lee also spoke about the important contributions made by the Chinese community to cultural development in Singapore. For instance, SFCCA, along with various clan associations and the Chinese media, has made it its mission to promote local Chinese culture and encourage the younger generation to join its ranks. Such efforts include a recent concert by the Singapore Chinese Orchestra featuring the works of Xinyao pioneer Leong Wen Fook and SFCCA's annual River Hongbao celebrations. Xinyao refers to Singapore Chinese folk songs. Meanwhile, SCCCI has helped businesses in emerging industries and new members identify business opportunities. SM Lee said. It has also worked with the government to grow small and medium-sized enterprises and help them expand their business and venture overseas. SM Lee added that the government remains committed to mother tongue language education and makes much effort to keep students interested in their mother tongue and Chinese culture. Through our efforts over the years, the younger generation today have a deeper appreciation of our unique local Chinese culture that is rooted in a multicultural society and they are keen to promote this culture. He said, I believe that if we continue to persevere in our efforts, our Chinese culture will continue to thrive and grow richer with time.